Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos. In our final video for Google Plus for your business, we are going to look at one of the neglected screens on Google Plus, but a very important one. So let's go up to our menu and go to settings. So this will be a little boring, but useful. So we're going to look at these various settings here. Actually, I'm going to jump over to one that I think is more useful early on. Notice at the top we've got settings, connected services, etc. Let's go to managers. We created this Victor's Bakery and only myself has control of it. I want to add other members of the company to be able to control this profile. So I will go to this um, uh, I will go to this screen and select Add Managers, Invite to New Managers, Invite People to Help Manage This Page, and any Google products that are connected to it, such as a YouTube channel. Also choose a role for them. So I'm going to invite this guy right here. And we have the option of manager or communications manager. You can go to learn more about the different roles, but usually you want manager for the full control. If you want to limit some aspects, you can select only communications manager. But uh, I've, I'm going to select manager. So select invite. I get a notification on my mobile device that I've been invited to this. And then I will go through my other account and accept the invitation. And now I'll have more managers. So that's one of the important things to look in the settings screen. Let's go back to the main settings screen. And we'll go through these. Who can interact with your photos? Who can send you notifications? Extended circles. This, is ha this happens when uh, you post something and you can select public, uh, your circles, or extended circles. Notice here it's turned on, and it's on by default to people. So if you don't want to be bothered by extended circles, I can say uh, only the people of my circles will be able to interact with me. For a company profile, I would recommend anyone. As you start to get more popular, perhaps then whittle down who can uh, interact with you there. But at the beginning, you want as much interaction as possible. Who can comment on your public posts? Well, it's public, so anyone should. But again, you can edit that. Who can hang out with you? Change settings for invites from people who haven't contacted you yet. Let's see what's under Customize. A lot to do here. If you are following someone, there will be an invite. If someone's in your customers, they'll be able to hang out with you, etc., etc. Companies, foodies, etc. So again, you can set this that, for example, I don't want any of the people in my foodie circle to be able to do a hangout with me, which is a video chat thing. Um, I will say anyone can hang out with me. Everyone else, they have to invite me and then get notified when people want to hang out. Shared endorsements. Let's take a look at this. This was a somewhat controversial feature that was added a few months ago to Google+. Shared endorsements. Google makes it easy for you and your page's followers to get great recommendations. For example, when you visit Google Play, you may see that an artist whose Google Plus page you follow has plus one to her album. When you reach, when you search for a restaurant, you may see an ad including a five-star review by cooking experts whose page you follow. We call these shared endorsements. Here's what you need to know. You're in control, etc. Read that on your own. But basically what this is saying, do you give Google the ability to have your profile picture associated with some sort of content online. For example, if you review something, can it show your picture? Uh, if you have plus one something, can it show your picture? Um, so this was controversial because people said, well, I don't want my content to be spread out uh, on a way that I don't intend. OK, no problem. You can just turn it off right there. Um, turn it off, save, and it won't it won't be a bother. I do have to say though, if this is your Google Plus business page, and again, it's a public entity, it's not your private profile, it's uh, it's in the service of getting you more followers, more plus ones, more activity, I would recommend to 
to have this feature on. If you want to turn it off, it's simply found in the settings under the shared endorsements. Notification delivery. Uh, I'm going to select to change that because it might I might want a different address. Notifications are currently delivered to the page's owner's notification address. Click change to use a different one. So if I had uh, Victor at Victor's bakery.com here's a place where I would um, where I can get notifications sent to which I have to verify no problem I can add a phone number manage subscriptions occasional updates about Google Plus that's off so I won't get any of these um, update emails Occasional updates from people outside your circles? No, I don't want that, perhaps. Yes, I do want that. It's as easy as turning it on or off. So people that are outside my circles, would I get an update from them? Uh, now this is going to be an email to the email address that you've set up for the business. So you have to decide what makes sense for you. What type of notifications? On posts? If I am mentioned in a post, send me an email. If a post is shared with me, send me an email comments, etc, etc. These are straightforward and you can decide if you're going to get an email about them or not. What happens when circles happen? Uh, someone adds you, etc, etc. So you can go in and decide what's too much email. At a certain point you may be getting too many emails, so you can turn these things off. Um, Third-party tools, so if I want to set up some other service that links with my Google Plus, I can set it up with a password to be able to access my Google Plus. Manage apps and activities. This is a big useful screen. I'm going to select that. Here it shows me um, If I um, if I want to, when I plus one something, who might see it? Currently said to extended circles. I can say, yeah, let everyone see what I've plus one. Again, this is for my company, my company's profile. So let's say I change that. I can go look at the log. This is a, a log of things that I've done so far, like plus one, the food network and such. I can remove that so it's not part of my history. Back to settings. Your circles. When you share photos, posts, etc., with things in your circles, you're sharing it with all of your circles except the ones you're just following. To customize that, again, if I select share with my circles, it will go to customers, VIPs, team members, San Diego people, but not to companies or foodies. So this is something also that I believe you need to get in and change right away. Uh, but you do want to share with as many people as possible. So I'll save that change the presentation of some pages to work better with screen readers so if you need if you have accessibility requirements this is where you can set it up photos and videos show geolocation information on newly uploaded photos and videos so here be careful about this let's say you're posting photos from your business location you want it to be tagged with a location so people can find it and go uh, go to your business but if you're doing this from a personal account perhaps you don't want this on allow viewers to download my photos and videos. Again, it's up to you. If you don't want your content to be downloaded, uh, turn that off. Find my face in photos and videos and prompt people I know to tag me. This is saying um, uh, if there's a picture of the, of the kitchen staff and uh, you're in it, someone can tag you and say, that's Victor Campos. You can turn that on or off. It's off by default. Auto enhance, automatically enhance new photos and videos, learn more. This is going to try to, if the picture's too dark, it'll try to fix it. If it's blurry, it'll try to fix that um, with a normal or high degree or off. Let's say your pictures are perfect, you might want to turn that off. 
auto awesome create auto create auto awesome new images movies and stories from your photos and videos that's a big answer a big can of worms you should check into it default is on because these are actually kind of awesome what happens is if you take uh, let's say 10 pictures in a row in a location Google Plus is smart enough to sort of create an album and create a little mini video about it and it's smart enough to add um, um, for example if you're into HDR photography uh, it'll automatically combine your images and such so again learn more on your own I'll leave it on people whose tags of your page are automatically approved to be added to the photos of you section of your page so if anyone um, is in your circles they will be added uh, if they if they take a photo and you're in the photo it'll be added into a photos of you section by these people that are approved here only your circles not random people profile show your Google Plus communities posts on the post tab of your Google Plus profile this is saying if I post to a community anyone else that does not join that community can see the content of my of my post if you only want the people in the community to see your content turn that off show these profile tabs to visitors they're always visible to you I don't want people to see my reviews that I create I don't want people to see my photos etc you can change that help others discover my profile in search results yes doesn't that sound good for your business don't you want people to search on Google Plus and find your business don't you need more business so leave that on or turn it off if it's a personal account show how many times your profile and content have been viewed so uh, this might be just sort of an ego thing but unfortunately it's also useful in that if people see that you've got a lot of followers and a lot of views and a lot of activity it entices people it gives them the me too mentality I also want to care about this person if you don't have that much activity perhaps turn it off and then people won't know that you've only got 200 views hashtags add related hashtags from Google on my newly created posts you can always do this yourself manually by just writing the hashtag but what this is saying is that Google Plus analyzes your post finds the most relevant part of it and adds a hashtag so that other people are connected to that post that could create more interactivity and finally if you just want to give up and throw it all away it's not worth it delete the page so as I said the um, settings page kind of boring but very useful let's look under what's uh, connected services uh, we have other Google services that we can connect to for example if you're a developer start the process for your site well maybe I want to badge a picture for my site suggest personalized content from your website to mobile visitors keep users on your site longer will guide them then to more of the content they came for a website plugin etc put a little snippet on my website again this is a little bit out of our scope but for some of you advanced people you could go in here and uh, get more features of Google Plus we looked at managers already let's say we no longer want a manager we can just X them out and finally audience control access to your content again this is a business page I want everyone to be able to access it so I've got it set to anyone if this is related to depending on your locality you can have this only for users that are 18 and older 21 and older or alcohol related what that means is that different countries have different restrictions on the age of drinking Canada and uh, Mexico can drink younger than the US for example so you want to select that if your page is about alcohol then we've got also custom please select the countries and users who should be able to view your content and again it gets more country specific but you could go on and set that up so I'm gonna go back to my stream discard changes that's fine that was our settings screen I invite you to check that out when you can to see more of the nuts and bolts of Google Plus we're gonna wrap up the lecture on Google Plus in the next video so come back for that